Gothenburg calls itself the city of events. It's known for its annual film, TV and music festivals and has a population of half a million. But take a walk off the tourist trail and you'll soon discover the forgotten people of Gothenburg. Homelessness is a real issue here. The Swedish Home Office estimates there are currently 3,500 people living on the streets in Gothenburg. To highlight the issues of homelessness, a unique campaign was launched by a street newspaper sold by homeless people in the city, offering the chance to join them and spend the night sleeping rough. Some rooms are in tunnels, uh, some rooms are actually outdoors, some rooms are, are in the woods just outside the city, so everywhere. We have a huge homelessness problem in Gothenburg. Uh, it's one of the worst cities to live in. It's actually the worst city to live in if you're homeless or, or uh, socially excluded. Having decided to give it a go myself, I began the process of booking a room at the Homeless Hotel. The rooms are budget friendly, but the amenities are rather unusual. In fact, 100 krona, around 15 US dollars, gets a variety of options, from a sleeping bag under a bridge next to a dual carriageway to a filthy mattress in a derelict shed close to the Savi and Guta rivers. Before checking in, I caught up with two magazine vendors who've been homeless in the city for more than five years. Nobody wants to be homeless because uh, it's hard, you know. You, you are freezing all the time if you don't have, to have the clothes. You cannot lay down and sleep at night because something will happen then. My room with a view is in the area of the city called Kungshoid. Locals here call it Prostitute Alley. It's actually a small dog walking park behind a luxury set of apartments. Now this is actually where you've been spending the nights. What, here? This is your room, yeah. Uh, room service has not been here yet, but uh, they'll get here and, and they'll set everything up. I'm trying to remain cheerful and upbeat but part of me knows this is going to be a very long night. So Aaron, what about health and safety? I mean, obviously you're running a service, kind of. What, what happens there? Well, we don't assume any responsibility. Uh, basically, you're on your own when you, uh, when you book the room. And if you want to spend the night outdoors, uh, you're welcome to do so, but you're on your own. Nice. And then I guess, where do you want to go? Do you want to go in the corner? And uh, I'll yeah. kind of... I begin to bed down for the night, oh, yeah. and given the temperature, minus eight, I've made sure I came prepared. My own sleeping bag, two jackets, a hooded top, three pairs of socks, and long johns. An extra pair of gloves. And I've also got company. Another guest has checked in to the homeless hotel. At least I won't be on my own. I hope I, I could like appreciate my, my things, my apartment, my bed, my shower and everyday life as I'm used to it. I've, I hope I would appreciate it more. It's literally half an hour into the first night here at the Homeless Hotel. I'm with a guest, so I'm not on my own. It's Hannah. Say hi, Hannah. Hi. We're enthusiastic now because it's the first half an hour, but it's, um, it's very cold. It's minus seven. <sighs> okay, it's been an hour now uh, since I've been here, and uh, the cold is really starting to get to me. Uh, my hands, I can't feel my hands. They're just numb. Jeez. I'm now sitting up, kind of thinking about this whole situation. My back's killing me, my toes are freezing, my fingers feel like they're going to drop off. I think the experience of sleeping rough has finally taken its toll. It's actually so, so difficult. It's not so bad having people walking their dogs all around you. 
and kind of staring and gawping and taking photographs. It's the fact that it's just cold and boring. I, I kind of thought it'd be really easy and oh yeah, I can sleep rough for a night, but I think it's time to say I I've been defeated. Having spent three hours sleeping rough here last night, I realised just how difficult it must be for Sweden's homeless people. Now, fortunately, I had the choice to check into a hotel, unlike many of them who simply don't have that option. Since the homeless hotel launched back in January, more than a thousand people have checked in although there are no figures to show how many actually stayed the night. All the money raised goes towards providing food and shelter to some of the city's homeless people. Rooms here can be booked all year round, but I don't think I'll be checking back in anytime soon.